tinatawag namin sa mga grupo namin, practitioners kasi mas babad kami sa community kaysa laboratories na ina-apply namin no? more on uh, what the community uh, can benefit uh, from the knowledge that we generate. No? So I think I have, I have gone through that track ever since um, more ako sa application uh, ng what I have been trained for formally and what it can do to contribute to the development of the community and the conservation of the resources. Parang ganun lang. But if you, if you find na specific to a particular stream, aluhin mo din yan, tignan mo. Kunyari, upstream lang siya. In research, I would encourage uh, topics that has some relevance for the community. I have uh, six advices in research, uh, in a research class. For this uh, study, six of them are working on the two rivers in Lawaan. No? And uh, Lawaan is uh, a very important uh, municipality in terms of ecology in terms of biodiversity. No? So these two rivers are still uh, unstudied. Uh, the implication is if you still have these resources, if the river is still very diverse in terms of the species composition, then uh, the need to protect and conserve this area. So uh, in a way, that is translating what uh, what is being a practitioner. No? Uh, use science so that communities would have the the also would be uh, interested in protecting a particular ecosystem in this case the rivers gusto ko tak maging track is igdara ang science diri lahat laboratory kundi pati giha pa community igadto ba uh, igintroduce it science hatao mismo knowing that there are young people who are interested in things that we are doing yeah it's very comforting uh, it's very comforting to know that after all the future is not anymore ours it's theirs research is trying to generate knowledge so that it could be applied to uh, to better the lives of people no so dapat yun yung overarching uh, framework ng research. So, scientists has the responsibility no, to uh, disseminate this information to the community. So, kung mahihimo ito ni Rahin uh, in a simple manner na maintindihan itong komunidad, then you would be sure that you will get support or you will get the the commitment of the community to conserve resources. No? If you depend on the resources for your livelihood, dapat pinuprotect mo yun, di ba? Kasi you want to make sure that your livelihood is sustained. But if you do not know kung ano yung nakakasira at kung bakit nasisira at you don't know kung ano yung uh, dahilan ng mayan, then maybe out of uh, that, magiging kausakahan pagka and pag deplete hand resource. But if scientists work hand in hand with the community and educate them on this, then we can get the support of the community to protect the resources that they depend on for their livelihood. Kami po, kahit yung kami mga kababaihan, pag may nakikita akong illegalista, ako mismo ang nag nanghuhuli sa kanila. Tapos dinadala doon sa munisipyo para kung ano man ang kaukulang parusa or kung ano man ang maitulong nila sa amin laban doon sa illegalista. Kilo na yan ano? Mga half kilo na? Duro good ini hing ka-importante. Kahit kung di risugarun hini ang pamaagi nga puro kung kita magkukulikta, kulik ng kulik, tapos ibabalid dyan natin, may panahon kung ibukos. Di risuga din eh, nga, magkukulikta ka nga ni din eh, nakakapag-spoon na era. Hindi pa namin pinapaharvest yung ganitong kalalaki. Now, because when you dry this, when you cook and dry this, maliit lang yan. So, if you want to get a premium quality, 
and premium price, dapat mga 350 grams na, na sandfish ang lulutuin. And at 350, nakapam, nakapamunay na gihap ginihira. No? They have spawned and they have already uh, replenished uh, stocks in the wild. So that's the purpose of ranching. So hindi, hindi lang paglaki tanggalin, kundi to also replenish the, the wild stock. And this is supposed to be the dryer. Parahan seaweed nga naha-harvest, igra dry. We started seaweed farming in uh, in early 90s also. At the start talagang total failure yun, hindi gumana. So I brought some trainers from marine colloids to train the fishers. So hira mismo din he, nagkukuan ito ni hira, nag-experiment. Sa seaweed farming namin na ang sabi ng ano before na hindi na po pwede yung mga malalaki na. Kami nag-imbinto kami ng hinati pa namin, gawa ng kulang kami ng mga seedlings. Tapos nag-regenerate po siya. Nagkaroon na nanangahaw-ngahaw hiyan, nagkamayda niya yan mga subing. Ito mo yung mga ano, namatayan sa Yolanda. Yung mga malalaking puno na yan. Because they were planted too close to each other, ng mga tag one meter apart lang yata yun. So nantubo ito nira, nantaas na ba? Hagla ba? So pag Yolanda, nagka, na, nagka mamatay talaga sila. And, Once ang risophora kasi maputol yung apical point, uh -huh. di rin at hiya mag-grow-grow. So kung maubusan hiya, waray na din eh, mapatay na ang puno. It hosts also a lot of, ano, a lot of, a lot of species. Uh -huh. uh, birds, inverts, home to, to mud crabs, uh, nursery grounds for many, many species. Uh, nature has it na yung, kunyari in this island, Palibot ng islands is a mangrove forest, mm -hmm. and that's that's a very good buffer. No, uh -huh. ni mo kailangan dito ng ano yon embankment. I think as to the purpose the, uh, being a buffer, no, for the communities, it really did its ano, its job. I think it would have been very very much more disastrous kung wala yon. We know that if there is going to be a meter at sea level rise, the island will be inundated. No? That's the reason why they have to be relocated to upper grounds, because if they continue to live in, along the coast, talagang i-flood sila. No? Ma-inundate talaga yung, ano, yung place with, uh, with sea level rise. In fact, the old man, Man Mangkulas, was already saying na, uh, kaya pala daw sila pinapalipat kasi na, napapansin nila during during yung high tide, yung mataas talaga na high tide, pumapasok talaga yung tubig. So, in areas that were not flooded before during high tide. So, napapansin na nila na parang nagkakaroon ng pagbabago yung ano ng tubig level. Kung dati nga bagahin limitado ang amon magagawa nganhin limitado ang amon hibaro yan na damo ka upay it amon mga knowledge nang nahibaroan uh, we believe on co-ownership we believe in developing capacities so that people can can stand on their own if you just give the fish okay you have a meal for today but what about tomorrow and the next day and the next so tinitingnan namin yung They reduce yung vulnerability nila, so that's why the safe houses. Tapos we're trying to develop with them their livelihood. They can have their their mud crab ranching, no, and other multi-species ranching, so that meron din silang ibang pagkukunan. That's stability at least. May 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 resilience. That's a factor to resilience.